just wanted to quickly start off this vlog because I wanted to do an update before I go and do the thing that I'm going to go and do now because it's actually really exciting. So Jesse and I are starting an acting course together. We've been saying that we've been wanting to do it for so long and it's just been one of those things that I've personally had on my, I guess, like bucket list to do for ages. And it's always just been like niggling at the back of my head being like, Ellie, you need to try this, you need to do this. And I've just put it off in the past because to be quite honest, it does scare me. It puts me out of my comfort zone, but 2023 is a new year and I thought it could be a good thing to do. And Jesse wants to do one too. So it's going to be great doing it together. So we're going to be doing it for the next six weeks, every single Tuesday night. So it's gonna be a big couple of weeks, but I'm really, really excited. And I am feeling quite nervous, honestly, but I feel like I'm gonna try and channel that nervous energy into excitement. And I know that it's gonna be good. Like what's the worst that can happen? I just think it's gonna be a really helpful skill to learn. Anyway, Jesse's here, so I've gotta go. We're heading to Kmart to pick up some notebooks for our session, but I'll let you guys know how we go. Sorry, I kept things so brief yesterday when I did my little intro, but I was literally running out the door and it was such a good first class. Like I just felt so, so happy afterwards and I had a really good time. And our teacher was absolutely amazing. Like she was just so lovely, first of all, but also she just obviously really knew what she was talking about. So yesterday what we had to do was a cold read, which basically means we get given a script and we have to quickly read through it and then perform it. We don't have to learn the lines, but basically we have to know the vibe and portray the character, like express the emotion and stuff. So that's what we did and we filmed it. So I got partnered up with another guy and we had to be on camera on our own so the other person would sit behind the camera and talk and then it would just be a close up of our partner's face and we'd like swap and take it in turns. My script was really interesting actually. It was about two siblings who meet up at a coffee shop each week and then one of the siblings was calling the other one out on their bullshit basically and my character was the sibling who was being called out and who was the one who was struggling so that was really interesting honestly but yeah jesse and i both had a really really good time and i'm excited for next week we actually have to learn our lines off by heart by next week but oh it's so nice to be doing something different and something for me like outside of my usual routine like trying something new it's just been something i've wanted to do for ages so i'm just so proud that jesse and i both have taken action i know that it's a new year at all but i just feel like january for me so far has been the month of trying new things so today i'm actually going to a reformer pilates class well it's not just a reformer class actually because it also has like a rowing machine and they also do weights but it's a very like unique style of training. It's called Strong Pilates, so it's gonna be really good. Today is just a Pilates full body class, but each day is a little bit different. Like sometimes they focus on specific body areas or sometimes they have cardio days, but I'll update you on how I go. I just wanted to also say that this is your sign, if you're watching this, to book the class that you've been always wanting to do. Like just go do it right now. I hope this inspires you because honestly, the law of attraction, loves action and if you're not going to put the action in to things you're trying to manifest into your life it's going to be a lot harder for them to happen so anyway there's my little pep talk for the morning and i'm pretty much ready so i'll check in with you guys after i get back from pilates not gonna lie it's midday and i'm a stinky mess because i went home did a little bit of editing and then i'm back out again because my sister messaged me she's like ella do you want to go to Miranda? Because apparently Mecca has the drunk elephant sunshine drops back in stock. And I'm just, I'm just influenced. And everyone says they're amazing and I really want to try them. I do have like some other bronzing drops from Ciate, but I don't think they're completely the same because I think the drunk elephant ones are a bit more like a moisturizer. And I'm pretty sure they have like shimmer in them as well. So you have a bit more of a glow. So I was like, okay, of course. So we've come to the shops together <laughs> to go and get it while it's in stock. She obviously was like having a look on the Mecca website to make sure she was gonna get it as soon as they came back in stock. Let's just hope they're still in stock by the time we go inside. But yeah, I'm really excited to try them out. I'll let you guys know what I think. So it turns out they didn't have the bronzing drops. They literally sold out today, which I had a feeling was gonna happen, but that's okay. I did end up getting like a couple of things because you know, made it to Mecca, I couldn't help myself. But 
I have wanted two of these things for a while and one of the things I'm really happy that I got because it was actually sold out for a bit as well. So I managed to get my hands on some body spray from Sol de Janeiro. This is the number 62, which I think is the original scent, like the first one that they came out with. This one that I got smells like pistachio and salted caramel. I feel like everyone has this, but, oh, I just got it in my mouth. But I really, really wanted it and I feel like it's gonna be so nice paired with the moisturizer as well gonna be just like a good everyday scent and then I've run out of my concealer so I decided to try the Kosas concealer I've heard a lot of really good things about this so I'll give this a go I'm gonna run up to the post office now and drop off some orders then I'm gonna come back and do some editing morning guys happy Thursday it's been one of those days today where I woke up and I was like you know what I don't feel like going out of the house I just want to have like a day at home doing stuff on my computer basically like an admin day really this is like my day of the week that I usually try and do content but honestly I don't really have like much content that I need to get done at the moment and yesterday I didn't manage to get as much admin done as I wanted to so I was like I'm just gonna get stuck into it because I've got like a few projects that I'm really wanting to work on over the next few months but it's been kind of hard to find some time where I can work on these projects as well as doing like all of the other things sometimes just something's got to give but I just thought you know what I'm gonna do this and then I'll maybe go to the gym this afternoon or just maybe not because honestly I'm quite sore from that Pilates class yesterday I don't think I even really like told you how it went afterwards the whole class was based around pilates yesterday but oh my gosh my core is so sore today it was really fun though i really enjoyed it but today so far has been quite productive i've just updated my youtube channel art which i've been meaning to do for a while i just felt like my banner that i had didn't really match the vibe because i create lifestyle content so i thought you know what i need to make something that kind of works with that so this is my new banner. As you can see, I've just like included a few photos I feel like represent my lifestyle. So I've done that and I'm just doing a bunch of brainstorming as well for the podcast and just like other projects. And it's been really fun, honestly. I'm enjoying it. And I'm trying to get into like a good routine at the moment of filming content throughout my day as well, like doing TikToks and stuff. So like when I'm doing something, like creating content around that concept, but it's been quite tricky knowing like what stuff I should put in like the YouTube vlog and what stuff I should film for like TikTok and Instagram. It's a really interesting thing actually. Like if you're a content creator, you'll know what I'm talking about, but it's like so hard to find the balance sometimes. But so far I think I've been doing okay. I'm actually feeling really motivated and inspired at the moment when it comes to my work and content, which is so good. And when I feel like that, I just ride with it because it's not always like that. And I find that for me, like the momentum keeps me going. And when I stop and take a break, it's always like harder to get back into it. That's my lunch. Sorry about that. I've got my lunch now. I've just got some soba noodles with veggies, some salmon, soy sauce, and mayo, QP mayo to be specific. But yeah, what I was saying is that I feel like the momentum keeps me more motivated, but I feel like that goes for anything, right? Like when you're going to the gym as well, when you keep going consistently, it becomes a habit. I guess it's like building habits, isn't it? You know, you do it for a certain amount of time and it just becomes part of your routine. You don't really have to think twice about it. You almost rewire your brain and things just become effortless. But that's how I've felt lately about content and it's a really nice feeling, but I do feel like sometimes I can get a little bit too caught up with it and I need to remember to actually like take some time off as well and enjoy other aspects of my life, you know? I love soba noodles. If you guys are looking for like an easy lunch, get some soba noodles. They just like bulk up a salad or any meal so easily and they take like five minutes to just cook. It's so easy. <laughs>
tonight's dinner looks so good. I've just got roasted vegetables and that also pasta, which almost looks like rice, but this is actually pasta. And then I've got a dressing on top, but I totally forgot that I was going to do some salmon as well to go along with this. So I'm like, do we just eat it now or do I do some salmon and just wait a little bit? but I'm sure there'll be heaps left over for like meal prep for the next few days. It is now Sunday. I'm so sorry for not being the best vlogger this week. I feel like I've been very chatty, but I haven't really been showing you too much. I guess like this week has just been a bit different for me because I've been doing some new things and like, I guess my routine honestly has been really changing up. So yesterday I just really prioritized spending some good quality time with Brayden. We went for dinner and then on Friday I had a girls night with my grandma, my mom and my sister. Although I was so tired at that, I just think like, this week I've been wiped out maybe from the additional workouts that I've been doing at Strong's because usually I would just go to the gym like three times a week but I did two full on Pilates classes last week as well. But I feel good for it, but I was also exhausted. Anyway, speaking of the gym, I'm actually about to go now because I've got to do my third day of the program that Jess has scheduled me. This program has been so good because it holds me accountable because honestly, if it was me just coming up with these workouts for myself, I probably wouldn't go. But the fact that she's written them out for me makes me be like okay i need to go and i feel like i need to move my body i've just been stuck inside all day i did a big reset and it was really productive actually but i think it would be good to get out and then i think after that i might have a little car chat with you guys depending on how hot the car is because it is a really hot day today so if i can tolerate sitting in the car i'll sit in the car and we can have a little chat because i thought it'd be fun to have a little chat about motivation because i feel like that's been like a common theme throughout this video and i wanted to share some tips with you guys and just like my perspective on it so we'll do that afterwards as well and then we'll cook dinner together i think i'm gonna do one pan fajitas tonight which will be so delicious so anyway Let's go to the gym. I saw you from across the room. When I rest, met, I never knew that I could feel this way, and it's kind of strange. Don't even know your name. delicious definitely going to be a go-to easy dinner but I did things in a different order to what I said I was going to do I was going to go and chat to you guys in the car and then I was going to come home and do dinner but honestly it was so hot this afternoon I swear this has been the hottest day this year and so I actually had to leave the gym early because I was getting that warm and I was like yeah there's no way I'm going to go sit in the car so I was like I'm going to come home and just make dinner and yeah, that's what I did. I'm about to do my skincare now, so I thought I'd chat to you guys while I do that. I also haven't showed you in the vlog yet my new little skincare organizer. So this is from Kmart. It's their three-tier skincare shelf, and apparently it's like sold out everywhere, but I got the last one on Click and Collect at Kmart Sylvania. I was super lucky, and it's so good. I've organized my makeup, hair care, and my skincare. And it's just like my everyday stuff. I've got other stuff stored away in other drawers too. It was only $15 as well, which I just can't believe. So for skincare, about two times a week in the evening, I'll use this Paula's Choice BHA liquid exfoliant. It's amazing. I'll just pop it on my hands instead of using like cotton wool. That like works completely fine. But yeah, this allows me to not actually use like a grain exfoliant this gets rid of the dead skin cells and i find that it makes my pores a lot smaller as well i really like this stuff and then every night i'll use the ordinary niacinamide blend this in then i use the hyaluronic acid serum from the ordinary as well i really like these honestly like the ordinary 
does some really really good serums for moisturizer i've just started using this it's the whipped cream from drunk elephant i've heard good things so i thought you know what i'll try it out and see if i like it myself i usually use like the cerave moisturizer but i thought i'd give this one a go just because it's so small and fits on my skincare shelf and then finally i'm going to use the elemis pro collagen underneath my eyes which just helps keep them hydrated and obviously good for anti-aging <laughs> while i finish off getting ready for bed i'll just chat to you guys about motivation and i guess my perspective on it and some tips so first of all somebody asked me this on my story the other day when i did like a little q a she was like what do you do when you feel unmotivated i had a good think about the answer to that question before posting on my story and pretty much what i said was that i would ask myself if i was in that position whether i was just being lazy or if i'm just genuinely tired and burnt out because i feel like sometimes when you feel unmotivated it's like a cue from your body that you need rest or it's just a sign that Maybe that thing's not right for you and it's not what you enjoy. Although I know we don't always do things in life that we enjoy. It's good to be disciplined and push through those things. But I guess it could be an indicator that maybe you're not enjoying the thing that you're doing. But yeah, then again, I feel like I get like that about the things I do enjoy as well sometimes. And you just go through phases and you've just got to really think about the circumstance that you're in. I know for me, when I'm in certain phases of my cycle, I feel more motivated than others. So just before my period, like the week before, when I'm in my luteal phase, I'll feel a lot more fatigued and I won't feel as motivated generally. And there might be just another thing that you would rather be doing. So you're like busy thinking about that, which means you're not motivated to do that other thing because you just like don't have enough mental space for it. So that is definitely something to consider. So if you are feeling unmotivated, maybe you do just need a bit of a break to reignite that inspiration and just feel more rested because if you keep trying to like fight it, sometimes you'll end up being burnt out. As for actual tips to make you feel more motivated, I've always found that taking action builds momentum and builds more motivation. So, you know, sitting around and just waiting for motivation never happens. I feel like people think that motivation is one of those things that's meant to come to them easily, but it's definitely not. Like if you're waiting around for it to come, it never will. You actually need to take some action, whether that just be like doing research and getting inspired or actually just doing something small. And then often that will snowball and you'll want to do another thing and another thing. And I know it's not always easy to do that because it depends on like the mindset that you're in. But I do find that taking like that one little step is gonna move you a little bit further. Also, I think it's important to have other things to look forward to. And I feel like when you've got other things going on that are exciting, that can make you more motivated to do the thing that maybe you don't wanna do because you've got a reward coming and I guess you've got an incentive to do that thing. Another thing that I wanted to say is don't focus on the end result. I feel like people get easily overwhelmed and discouraged and unmotivated when they look at the end result and they're like, oh my gosh, I've got so much to do or, you know, that goal of mine's so far away, so why even start? Don't focus on that. Focus on the one step that you can do now because often taking that one step will then make you do more steps because you'll get momentum, but also, you know, every step adds up and eventually you'll get there. So I feel like don't focus on that end goal. And also depending on the situation, just try, keep going, keep showing up and eventually it should become second nature. They say it takes what, like, is it 30 days to create a habit? And I guess like habits and motivation are different things, but I feel like it's similar in the sense that, you know, after you've done something for a certain amount of days consistently, you'll feel more motivated or feel more effortless. So anyway, they're my little tips. I just wanted to do a little part of this vlog talking about that because I know that motivation is something that I've definitely gone through phases with in the past and I am feeling quite motivated at the moment. So I thought it would be a good thing to talk about while I'm in this headspace and hopefully it will help you guys out. But I really hope you guys have enjoyed watching this vlog. Thank you so much for watching to the end. If you're still watching, I appreciate and love you guys all so, so much. Please do give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel and I will see you in my next one. Bye.